Hi everyone, in this video together we will perform the RMSF analysis of a trajectory using VMD. Actually, in the past video we had an introduction to the scripting user interface in VMD and this is very important because we will perform the RMSF analysis using a script. So before we go to VMD, let's discuss the meaning of RMSF analysis itself. So RMSF is an abbreviation for the root mean square fluctuation, RMSF, which is basically the measure of the deviation between the position of a particle i and some reference position. So you have a reference and you calculate the deviation of a particle from this reference. And this is the formula that VMD will use to calculate the RMSF. And usually the, the reference is the time average position of the same particle. So you have a time average position and this is going to be, is going to be your reference and VMD will calculate the deviation from your, from your reference. And that's why the difference between RMSD and RMSF is that RMSF will give you a value for each particle. Unlike RMSD, if you remember from the previous video, you are, gonna, you, you are going to get a, a specific time uh, values. So again, RMSF is the deviation of a particle i in a comparison, or sorry, a deviation from a reference of, of a particle i from a reference uh, position, which actually it's the time average position. And no need to memorize that, I'm just giving you the logic behind it. And as I said, this analysis is going to be to calculate it using a script. And here is our script, and let's have a look at it. So let's go and open it. And this is a script, and don't panic. It's too much programming or scripting. And I say, as I said in the previous video, you don't have to be expert. You don't have to write a script from scratch. This script is you can download it from VMD website, and I will include it in, in the attachments. But you can, even if you don't know programming or scripting, you can understand the logic behind some stuff here. If, let's read what set reference, atom select top protein frame one. So you are setting your reference and here you let VMD get the number of frames and here is the loop that here actually performs an alignment of your structure. And here you tell VMD to set out file, the output file. I renamed it rmsf.tegist and you can rename it whatever, let's say rmsf tutorial dot text for example or let's keep it rmsf to avoid any problem in the scripts and here the atom select is name c alpha so we are going to calculate the rmsf for the c alpha atoms and here you measure the rmsf for a specific range of your trajectory i have 5000 trajectory 5,000 frame trajectory, so I'm, measure, I'm measuring the RMSF of C alpha atoms for all the frames, but you can change it. You can say, calculate from 0 to 500 frames, for example, but in our case, we will calculate for all the frames. So, again, you don't have to be an expert in scripting. You just can get the logic in the beginning, then you, you're going to write your scripts by yourself, and here the mathematical stuff. So, a script is composed of two sections. The first section is getting your, your reference and align according to it and then set an out file. You rename it, the text, and your atom select. I choose C alpha, so I will calculate the RMSF for C alpha. And here the range that you're going to calculate your RMSF in it. And let's say save. Let's go to VMD. First, let's get our trajectory. Here is it. As I said, 5,000 frames. Here we are. Don't forget to get your PSF file. Here is it. And I will go to the scripting user interface or the TK console. 
and the script is in my working directory and if you don't know what does what does working directory mean so you have to go to the previous video and i will say actually it's very very easy source i will say rmsf.tcl and what you're going to do is just you're going to hit enter and wait for a while and here's it we are done here's your rmsf text so if you go and check it you'll find the value the rmsf value for each residue my system is around 388 residues so you are going to find your values here here is the last residue 6.37 etc and you're going to export these values to plotting program and you get your nice rmsf figure something like what is in google here like this is stuff and actually rmsf tells you about the fluctuation of your protein or your segment or your structure and this will give you insights about the stability the flexibility of your of your structure the higher the RMSF values, the higher the fluctuation, the higher the flexibility, and the less the stability. So, this is the point of RMSF. So, to sum up, to sum up everything again, RMSF is the deviation of your particle of specific atom from the reference position, which is time average position, and we get specific value for each uh, atom in our system and we use script here again which is composed of two sections the first section which aligns and load your structure and the second section which is include how the output is going to be your selection c alpha and the range of frames and again you go to vmd and just say source rmsf.pcl and you hit enter and you got it thank you and if you want to know how to calculate the rmsd analysis for your trajectory you may go here and thank you and don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and if you have any correction please let me know in the uh, comment section and i will attach this script in the in the attachment sections and if you have a better way to correct this script let me know and there are so many ways so many tools to calculate the rmsf but this is the simplest way and see you in the next video bye bye